when we burn it in a car, out the exhaust pipe, the exhaust pipe will have the same things that went in, CO2 and water. And the solar energy released when the alcohol explodes in the engine is what drives you down the road. So it's liquid solar energy. It's what's left over, it's what the, what the plant used in terms of energy to join those chemicals together. And then when we burn it, we release the carbon dioxide and water back to the air for use by next year's crops. And the energy drives us down the road. So is it sustainable? Well, it'll, we could probably do it for four or five billion years, which is about the time they expect the sun to burn out, in which case we have other problems at that point. So, you know, we can make the alcohol forever. You'll notice that nothing from the soil ends up in the alcohol. Nothing from the soil ends up in the alcohol. So the alcohol production itself does not deplete the soil. Now, we have to be careful about our agricultural practices and how we go about producing it, which I'll get into in a little bit, because there's some very good implications for breaking monoculture using alcohol fuel production. Questions so far? And feel free to ask them all during the talk. So the CO2 is going into the atmosphere. Correct. Now, that already sets off flags for everybody, right? CO2 going back into the air because we don't want CO2 in the air. CO2 is what causes. Well, except that the corn plants that are planted to produce more are going to pull that CO2 out and spit oxygen back out, right? So Absolutely. That, a, that's, that's right. Well, yeah, the CO2 came from the air in the first place. Correct. So you guys have already jumped ahead. And what you're seeing is that on the surface, what it's, what's obvious is that it would seem that alcohol production is carbon neutral. In other words, the carbon dioxide that's released is exactly the same as what's, you know, what's um, absorbed by next year's crops. Now, the oil companies, you know, when they go ahead and, and talk about CO2 from, from alcohol, they neglect to mention the back half of the cycle. They say alcohol puts out 20 pounds of CO2 and gasoline only puts out 21. There's no hardly any savings. And they totally ignore the fact that it gets absorbed by the next cycle. So this is the kind of propaganda that we're constantly having to deal with. But actually, I'm going to show you ecologically, because, because I'm an ecologist and a biosystematist, I, I tend to draw the box a little wider. 